Welcome to an Empower PL video tutorial. We are working in Google Docs and we're going to jump into comment feature. There's a couple of things that you can do with comments and we're going to dive into all of them. But first, we're going to look at different ways in which you can actually add the comment to begin with. So I'm just going to highlight where it says demo doc here and I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to insert the comment. One would be to go up to your menu up at the top and you'll see there is an insert uh, option and in the drop down menu you're going to see that one of your options is to select comment so that's one way to do it and if you click on that it'll pop open this little window here to the right hand side where i can add my comment i'm just going to write hi and then click on the blue button comment and that's going to add the comment that is in relation to the text that i highlighted so whenever i go through the document and i select that section that's highlighted in that cream yellowish color, it'll pop open that little window that has the comment. Well, let me show you another way to do this because there are several ways and if you like shortcuts or you don't have to, you don't like going to, you know, all the different menus. Um, when you highlight this, you'll notice that over here to the right hand side, uh, a little icon popped up. That's the comment icon, which you could easily just click on that and it'll create the comment box as well. And then from here, once again, you can type in um, your comment, click on the blue button to add that comment and that comment is now visible. One more way to show you um, how to do this. I'll select the last one that I have down there at the very bottom. Once again, you highlight that. In your toolbar menu, you also have a comment box that allows us to simply just click on that. And once again, it pops open that uh, little window and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and stick to the hello comments here. Click on uh, the blue button and voila, your comment is now there. Now, a couple of quick things here that I wanna show you, one of which is, let's say you've gone through your document, you've read the comment and you're like, okay, good, I'm good to go. I don't need to have that comment visible anymore. You'll notice that there are little check marks um, on there. So you can actually resolve these uh, comments or slash hide them. Uh, because when you click on the check mark, it will actually um, get the comment to sort of disappear, although they're not completely gone in the sense that up here at the very top, uh, just to the left of the blue button there, you're gonna have the comment icon, which shows you the history of all of your comments. And you'll be able to come back through here to read everything that has been uh, left as a comment, as well as reopen any comment you would want to reopen. So you'll notice there's a link there that says reopen. You click on that and that particular comment then just pops right back open. That's quite um, nice. Now, next, we're going to get into one of the features that I really like, which is the plus feature that you can use within the comment box. So let me highlight a demo doc up here and uh, we're going to go ahead and add a comment. I'm going to show you that when you plus somebody and what I mean by that is simply using the plus symbol on your keyboard and then just typing in another person's email address. Let's say I'm going to send myself uh, an email. So my other account is going to. Uh, get this email. Uh, I'm basically adding you to this document as well as sending you an email. And all of that is happening automatically by simply putting in, that should be a plus, there we go. So plus my uh, email address, and then I leave my comment. Okay, so whatever comment you want to put on there. You'll notice as well that when you plus somebody, it also gives you the ability to assign this to somebody as if it were a task. So let's say this was a document that had uh, an agenda for an upcoming meeting or an event or so forth, and you want to assign somebody a task like uh, perhaps maybe you're assigning someone to be in charge of uh, emailing out all of your participants. And so I simply highlight that section and then say, okay, Monica, um, could you please email this group? And what's going to happen is I can assign this to you at this point. And what's going to happen is a couple of things. Again, um, you're going to get an email. It's going to have a link to this document and it's going to have the comment itself directly within um, the email. So I can actually read it from there. So I click on assign and it's assigning you this particular um, item. Now you'll notice that because I hadn't actually shared this document with you, it does prompt me to go ahead and give you access. And I can determine from here what kind of access I'm gonna give you, whether it's just simply common access or edit access to this entire document. And that of course is completely up to you. You make your selection 
and then you say comment so that that comment gets added to the document. And that is now going to be a part of the history of this document and showing that I have um, added this particular person um, to this particular comment. So that person is now going to receive an email. They're going to be able to jump in and uh, and come back in and comment if they'd like um, and certainly, you know, complete the task that we've provided that person um, to do. So really cool feature. I, again, really like the use of um, that plus button, being able to add somebody to a document very easily. The system does all the work for me. I don't have to separately email that person. I really like this feature. I hope you guys find it useful as well.